Hello my lovely friends and welcome back to the channel. I've not seen you for a long time, since yesterday, and I miss you already. Yes, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, I decided to squeeze a few cocktails before Christmas and just kind of give you a last moment ideas what you can do on Christmas or during the Christmas period following to the new year, okay? So yesterday we did a wonderful warm cocktail which you can enjoy pretty much every day and why not? But today we're going to do something a little bit more elegant and more kind of a, a cocktail for a party or good aperitivo to start your evening. Yes, so today we are doing cocktail called Christmas Cherry. It's based on gin, have a wonderful cherry flavor, dryness, and of course, a little bit of festivity with some maraschino cherries. So, my friends, if you're ready, let's make the Christmas Cherry. Alright my lovely friends, another Christmas special or Christmas, oh Christmas special actually is gonna be probably tomorrow. I'm giving you a little clue so you know what's gonna happen. So if you're new to the channel make sure you click the subscribe button and the like button, why not? And this little ding dong bell on the side to notify you. But yeah, tomorrow Christmas special. Today we're doing the Christmas cherry which is based on gin. So you need a London dry gin, a good crispy London dry gin. I'm using number three. Use whatever you have on your shelves. Then we need cherry herring, one of the best cherry liqueurs. You can substitute with cherry liqueur or a cherry brandy liqueur if you have, but if you can find cherry herring, trust me, you won't be disappointed because there's so many good drinks with this wonderful liqueur. Next ingredient, we need a dry vermouth. I'm using Noili Prat as always. And finally, we have maraschino liqueur. Of course, we're gonna use a little bit of Angostura orange bitter, and the cocktail will be garnished with a maraschino cherry. So, it's all about the cherries, it's all about the festive, it's all about the sweet and the lovely aperitivo cocktail. This type of cocktail, yes, it could be as aperitive, or it could be just a, like a lovely party cocktail when you gather around with friends around the Christmas celebration and just have a lovely tipple, okay? So let's build it. Now the cocktail is steered and we're gonna start with the ice because this cocktail is fairly kind of a boozy, yeah? It's kind of a strong, it's not shaken, doesn't have any juices. So we're just gonna give it a good steer to dilute just a little bit, but to be chilled. And I'm gonna use today a big chunk of ice. Of course you don't have to do this, but when I do my clear ice, everything what it's left underneath in the mold for the clear ice. I keep using it for shaking or stirring, so you don't need to do that, okay? Very fairly easy this cocktail because it's all equal ingredients. So I'm gonna start with my dry gin. So you have 30 ml or an ounce of the dry gin. Then next cherry herring, same amount. 30 ml or an ounce. It's quite easy to remember. Everything will measure just the maraschino liqueur. It's a little bit just a touch. And we go to the dry vermouth. 30 ml or an ounce again. And finally the maraschino liqueur. Now the maraschino liqueur it's 7.5 ml or what is this? one quarter of an ounce, something like that. I like to measure it with a bar spoon. As you know, the bar spoon is five mil. So I'm gonna have a bar spoon and just little tip over, that's it. It's not a big deal if you go with a, a mil or two more. It's even more delicious, okay? Two, three dashes of Angostura orange bitter. Because we have lots of sweetness, we have dryness. Now we need a little bit of bitterness to balance everything together. And give it a good stir. 
it is preferable when you stir, maybe try time to time the cocktail. If you want it to be more strong, give it a quick stir, serve. If you want to dilute a little bit more and chill even more, keep stirring, okay? The best way to try is just basically a little drop on your hand. See if you like it as a strength and as a coldness and maybe keep stirring. So everybody have different palettes and uh, enjoying the drinks different ways. So find the best way for you. Now, as always say before, it's preferably if you freeze your glasses. Uh, I didn't do it this today because they're very sensitive, these glasses. So I don't want to have any accidents. But if you know your glassware and you know it's okay with the freezer, chill them. It'll be perfect. Trust me. All right. And leave the bar spoon on the side. Grab a strainer. And just strain my cocktail. Look at that beautiful dark mahogany color. It's just amazing. And to finish it, a cocktail pick and a little maraschino cherry. Now you can just drop the cherry inside, but it's preferably better to be with a cocktail pick because you can just put it on the side. I love the maraschino cherries. Sorry, I can't resist. You can just put it on the side like this and you have a wonderful Christmas cherry cocktail to celebrate this festive season. Cheers! Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Boozy, but not like a kick. It's a warm, it's a festive sweetness from the cherries, dryness from the vermouth. Have a little bit of bitterness coming from the orange bitter and of course the crispy dry London gin. It's just a fantastic combination and wonderful balanced cocktail. So my friends, another one on the list and tomorrow, as I say, we may do Christmas special or maybe on Friday. I don't know yet. I'm just going with the flow, okay? For now, enjoy. Have a drink and I'll see you very soon with another video. But until then, as always, I love you and I leave you. Bye-bye.